Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Come in, oh, I'm not even singing. Come in, come in, come in. I need mothers here. I'm here this morning. The Holy Spirit woke me up specifically for children. I always wake up every morning for a purpose and a reason, not for nothing. I need mothers here. All of you with daughters, especially people with daughters. Daughters, because girls are impressionable. Mothers, I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I am not happy this morning, not because I'm sad, but I'm angry at the level of ignorance that people who so-called they know God play. I greet all of you in the name of the Alpha and the Omega, in the name of the Sovereign Lord. I've been told by the Lord I should deliver gentle and soft. I'll go listen, I don't fight with the Master. My sisters, this morning I'm here to talk to African women, African mothers, African aunties, sisters, the enemy is after your children. Afri in Africa, people have to fight against Facebook. You need to rise now. Because 14 and 13 year old girls are opening Facebook accounts with phone numbers. This morning I woke up. Yesterday I followed the profile of my sister-in-law, my brother's baby mama, wife to be. This morning, I wake up because I followed that profile. That profile opened another secret for me. My niece, 15, 16 years old, she's on Facebook. And even the person staying with her, with her in the house doesn't even know that she was on Facebook. And this niece, you always have one problem child in the family. This niece is a karakare child. I catch her almost I don't know how many times on Facebook. My sisters... Let me tell you what happens here on Facebook. The devil knows which girls are desperate, garable, and the ones who want good life. Because they want to be slay queens. They don't want to look like this. They want to look like you, their mothers. So shame on you and me because of what we have done. They are now at the age of 12. They are on Facebook already. And let me tell you, every demon that's behind a computer, whether it is spiritual or physically, they are old men who don't give a damn about your children. They will buy a plane ticket for your child and take her to Dubai and they will knock that child until that child has no vagina anymore. Let me speak direct because you women, some of you right now, you don't know. Your girls are on Facebook. What is a person without a phone and a job doing on Facebook? What does it benefit their life? What does it bring for them? And two, Indian men, Muslim men, I'll say it like that, they like to send naked pictures of themselves to, get to women. I know I have been a recipient of nudes. Have you received nude pictures? Can you imagine when that Indian man, Haraji, send a photo to your daughter and then he tells your daughter, can you also make a picture of your vagina or your breast and send it to me? And your daughter will send it. Because she's gullible. And you are busy on Facebook here doing rubbish. Shame on you, women of this generation. Shame on us. Shame. Our children are selling their souls without even knowing. Facebook is not to play with. Facebook is the headquarters of Satan. That's why he hates me. That's why people come to fight me for no reason. Because they do not like the fact that I use my page to speak the word of God. Because a lot of people out here on Facebook, even the ones who are so-called pastors, they are still in the pocket of the devil. Because people who are collecting money on Facebook, una collect devil money. So what is happening with our girls? Hmm? They are dying so fast, Sister Joseph. Eh? I know, sis. They are dying young. You know why? Mothers. Look at my face. It's a face of disgust for me and my generation. Look at our little girls. They are profile pictures. They are girls. 
in Africa whose pornograph videos, nude pictures are selling so well here abroad. And she's a little girl. She doesn't even know anything. There is a difference when a girl makes pornograph. Like that girl in my country wanted to be minister. When you spread your legs for your own choice. But these girls are not choosing. They will reach a point where they threaten them. They will reach a point where they cannot even get out of it. Sisters, the enemy is using your children's lives and destiny on Facebook. The boys are being initiated to courts. The girls, it not be that it is your girls that come to Dubai here. You think these secrets are coming out because they are nothing. Your girls heard about it. If you go to Dubai, you open your mouth. They shit in your mouth. You want to collect money. I am too aggressive. Excuse me. Somebody said, Ma, you are too aggressive. I cannot be more aggressive than this. In fact, who is that fool? Sister Dugunama, I would like you to apologize. I am too aggressive. I rebuke you, stupid idiot, Satan. I'm talking about girls who are 15 years old. Who are being sexually molested in the realm of the spirit. Whose wombs are being used by the devil. Because they are on Facebook. So sister Dugunama, which country do you come from? Because it must be a demonic country. Which country do you come from, sis? I pray you're going to apologize for that comment. I cannot be more than aggressive. You want me to dance here? They are raping the girls. They are sleeping with their 14 year old gods. The devil is busy. You want me to dance? Do go, you are a fool and you look like an idiot this morning. Garbage. And if you have a daughter, let the daughter, let the devil get your daughter because you don't want other people's daughters to be saved. Okay. Devil. There's a one sister called a Duga Lord. She wants to sell her child to this thing. So, devil. Go and collect that woman's child. Because that woman thinks it's okay. You can do whatever you want with her child. You are crazy, sister Dugo. May God have mercy on you, Satan. And this, you are not a human being, Dugo. The only person who has the power to come and fight me here on Facebook Live is Satan himself. I realized. Because his agents can't. Hello? They can't. They are too small for me. So, Dugo, you are certain he sent you exactly this morning. But I rebuke you. I cast you into the bottomless pit by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. So, if you can't hear the message, let the other mothers who've got children. Because yours are not children, right? Shut up, Dugo, with your nasty, filthy soul. I bind you. You can never scare me. Have mercy on who? Have mercy on your stupid soul. Women like you. That are seeing young girls at the airport with a whole grown man. With a whole grown man. So do go when you see a whole grown man in Dubai walking in with a 15 year old girl and you are walking at the desk. You do go, you are the type of black woman. You will take money and put it in your pocket because you have sold your soul. Stupid. Shut up, let me continue. You know, be you African sisters. When they're exploiting young African girls. Hmm? It not be you. If I am crazy, you are a demon. If I am crazy, you are already dead. Because I'm not speaking to your body. I'm speaking to the spirit that lives in you as a woman. That even right now, you cannot, you cannot call yourselves. To start thinking about what I came to talk about here. You want to talk about she's mad. You can call me mad all you want, sis. All of you who are saying I'm crazy. Thank you so much because the same craziness, Delilah and Jezebel. Back to send in Jesus' name. Who is the devil himself, the accuser of all brethren? Mothers. Mothers. I'm telling you the truth, what is happening here. Your fellow sisters. They are here on Facebook. They are calling me mad. 
mad because I tell you people what is happening in the realm of the spirit that we are not descending. There is slavery abuse here. Sexual abuse happening here on Facebook. Some of you, your fight was never spiritual. It was physical. You could have done something about it. You didn't want to. And that's why for every mother who is listening right now, don't listen just for your daughter. Listen for somebody else's child. I don't have a daughter. All of you are calling me a mad. I'm this and that. I'm raising sons. I don't have the, 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 the sexuality that open legs. I have the sexuality that put it in. So my fight is different than you. I can't mock you. I'm here to encourage you and wake you up. They are opening Facebook with phone number. Una be craver. You are sleeping in the same house with them. They are going to parties. See their profiles. They are posing in mean skates. They are posing half naked. Where did they learn from? You. They don't want to go to school. They want to become influencers. They don't want to fear Jesus. But they love the slanting of this world. You are the mother. She's an example of you. She's cheap. You cheap too. She's rude, you rude too. She's not worth it. She doesn't carry herself like a woman with no pride, with no value. Same thing with you too, sis. So let's tell you so you can go and tell that little girl. Because that little girl, God will even help her. Because somebody was given as a responsibility for her. And as long as you are a mother, it's your responsibility to train and raise your children in the right way. And we do not give up. That's why they call them promiscuous children, promiscuous generation. They are 14 years old. But that girl busts it like you and your man in the night. Hello. Am I mad now? Am I mad now? Am I aggressive? The 14 year old and the mother both have sexual encounter. And the funny thing is, hey sis, come I tell you. Your little girl knows about orgasm. That's why she keeps going back on the pole. And you don't. Hello. Should I go deep? They'll call me mean. They'll call me this. Come on. Auntie Delilah and Auntie Jezebel from hell. Come on. You want your daughter to carry the same spirit? They are sending them friend requests. Old men are sending your daughter's money from abroad. You know nothing. Am I mad? <laughs> there are demons out here in human skin who even at this age of this baby, they will penetrate. You think your 14-year-old daughter who's selling her nyash like she's a cheap whore, ain't you? When the men look at your children's profile, they don't see children. They don't see children. They see something they can climb on. Am I mad now? Sisters tell me, is it really something wrong with me? Then God must be mad too. Yes, so. Because God told me, if your niece is able to have a Facebook account with people under the same roof without knowing, what is your niece able to do? Sisters, have you asked yourselves what your children are able to do? I'm not insulting you. Those of you who want to be, hey, don't insult me, don't dish, don't, you are feeling petty. Are you the type of mother who is raising thoughts out here? If you want to raise demon, it's okay. But God will punish you because that child, this child is not our own. You belong to the king. And for manipulating, misleading their destiny. Hello. Sit in the truth. And for you men who are here on Facebook, Indian men, especially Muslim men from backgrounds, 
Muslim, Muslim a, 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 a background cultures and Indians. May the Lord rebuke that spirit and cast it out of you men who think that it is fine to make your private parts and send it to people that have not even asked for. And worst of all, may God punish you for be sending it because you do not know. I know that's why I am speaking the truth, but I am also rebuking you Indian and Arabic men and men who are doing this rubbish on Facebook that are being used by the devil. I'm rebuking you. I know you don't know that she's a 12 year old. But when they send you the first picture, you should be able to know it's a child. Leave. I will explain something that I've ever seen in my life that's disgusting. I've seen a video because it came so that it was going around. And the shameful is that us grown people, we are not ashamed to look at little baby privates. When it's your child, you're changing diaper, it's okay. Eh? But when a baby is naked and you're a whole grown person, doesn't it make you feel uncomfortable? Because I also don't want to see my friend's children naked. Hell no, God forbid. Hell is not my portion. I don't want because the devil is a liar. He sends a demon, a force, a spirit. A man is looking at his own child. Before he knows it, he starts to penetrate. He starts to feel something. The, the devil starts to manipulate him. So how do you think your girls are safe here? Sisters, I watched a video that was going around. It is, was a video of a Nigerian girl. I pray that one day the Lord will locate those people who did that to that girl. It was probably a five, six year old girl with a baby doll. But everything she was doing with that baby doll. You ever seen a grown woman masturbating? I cry. I was so angry. That's why when people call me mad, I'm like. It was a five year old masturbating. Five year old putting babs. Somebody in the screen behind her fam her mother didn't even know she was what probably watching Peppa Pig. A screen came up. She started to copy everything that Peppa Pig was doing. And if you look where we're online here, there's Peppa Pig pornography, there's Mickey Mouse pornography, and there is Papa Tro pornography. Hello. Hello. If God did not see me, show me with my own eye. When I post, I was watching TV. TV or Netflix. Something go call that disturbs the establishment and foundation of children. That I don't allow that program anymore to play in my house. Dugu is a lesbian. Leave her sisters. Don't call her a lesbian. Don't answer sister Dugu. Dugu is not a human being. It's a demon. You do not fight with it. Bind it. Cast it. Carry go. My sisters. My sisters. Oh my God. I'm so disappointed. That little girl was doing everything that that Mickey Mouse was telling her to do. If it was shimmer and shine, she was shimming and shining. But the shimmer and shine was not shimmer and shine. Oh, 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 oh. No, it was shimmer and shine. Wah, 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 wah. The child was licking things like us grown people. Sexual acts. Arabian man, you need to be ashamed. Arabian man, Arabian or Arabian man, you have disgraced yourselves with your nakedness. But it's witchcraft. You don't send pictures nakedness because you want sex. No, there is a benefit when you people send a picture to somebody. As long as somebody sees private parts of somebody they didn't ask or call for, the devil is doing something in his evil spirit and wickedness. Necromina spirit, cockroachic spirit. You think we are, we are dumb to the devices of the enemy? You think we are dumb to the devices of the enemy? Stop sending devil face if you are Arabian. Get out of here. Go and die in the pit of hell, you spirit of Satan. I rebuke in that spirit in you, not in the people. 
The people, body stay there, but the spirit in the people go catch fire in Jesus' name. My sisters, wake up. I'm calling all my African sisters, especially you who are so caught in the eh, 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 low, low, low minds women with a wanting dream life that we cannot afford. Go and get your children's phones. Go and look for your children's name. Sit with her today. Ask her, are you on Facebook? Ask her, are you on Facebook? When she says no, tell her, please tell me the truth. Are you on Facebook? Because if you're on Facebook, I want you to know that I'm okay that you made a mistake. But I need you to take that account of Facebook. You shall have Facebook when your life and your mind can even be able to stand for yourself when even an Arabian man sends you a naked picture. But also what the devil is doing to these little girls in the realm of the spirit. He's changing their destinies. Manipulating their destinies. Corrupting and condemning their spirits and souls. With necromantic spirit, enchanting spirits, and sorcery through sex, through Facebook. I catch my, my, my niece. And let me tell you. Let me tell you. They will never make their account with their real name. They are not stupid. They are not stupid. My niece are go catch her. It was different name. We go catch her own. It devastated me. I called my biggest brother. Because her father died. And he was my big brother. And me and my father, my brother, had the last conven a conversation. I was here. I never even went to his bar. He told me that he knows that I'm a drama queen. But he trusts me. He says whatever happens, make sure they get an education. They become successful women. Don't let them get pregnant. He told, them, he told me, let them become like you. At least let them get pregnant when they're in marriage already. Zodwa, thank you for confirming. Another sister says she took the phone of her daughter. She found it. She removed it. Thank you. Some of you need to get up now. Go and get the phone. Go and remove that stupid nonsense. Facebook, Facebook. Facebook, go kill people's children. There are women who, if they knew that she was on Facebook, she would have never ended up in Dubai. She would have never ended up in the wrong place. Never ended up with the wrong company. Satan has got his agents here. De Jezebel, Delilah, Necromana Spirit, Witchcraft and Satanism. And they are meeting right here on Facebook. And your daughter just gets to click link. Mm -hmm. no, not knowing that we are taking part in things. I am on Facebook, but I can't do everything that everybody does here on Facebook. Because... It will take me out of the dominion and authority and hedge of protection of my father. You need to keep your children in the hedge of protection of the Lord. Because when they go left, Jesus cannot come and rescue them. There. Social media is dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Sexual trafficking is happening on social media. My sisters, aren't you, aren't you hearing about what is happening in America? Let me just block Sister Akande Radist because she's laughing a lot. Bye-bye, sis. Sisters, haven't you heard eh, about what is happening here with children and social media? Have you seen the case of Ara Kelly? And then I'm going to ask this to the whole Africa. How many little children did you think Ara Kelly touched the time that he used to come to Africa? Nobody will ever fight for those little girls. I know that Ara Kelly has touched children here. Only God Almighty knows how many children Ara Kelly has touched. He will not be Fali Pupa's friend. He was not coming to Africa. How many girls has that man been saved to sexually molest? Because if America is done with him, send him to us in Africa. Let's fight for our girls too. How many? How many official people in the right places are touching girls? Shame on you, those of you women who like to joke and laugh about rubbish. Pray that your daughter, they don't lack. Yes, the laughers and the mockers. Make una go on your knees. Pray that your baby, they don't lack. We are talking about children. You can laugh about children, you fool. How many did Ara Kelly himself touch? I know that Ara Kelly never went free. 
And I know that if Arakedi was to be persecuted in the African countries he's been through, there are so many little boys and girls that have been tormented and touched by him. And where we come from in Africa, there's no protection. So social media here, the mothers who have lost their children to social media because of men and sex and this lifestyle. Do you think when they are crying for their children now, when they were begging, for example, Arakeli, leave our children, make our children come back. You see the, the way those girls were brainwashed. A girl is impressionable, my sisters. She's gullible. If she meets the right man, he will lead her through the right way. If she leads, she, a, 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 she finds a fool, he will also fool her life. My sisters come here, you like to talk, you like to speak. The same thing with boys. I talk about girls because I'm a woman. A man needs to come and stand up and speak on a point of where, how, and it is happening to boys. It's the same. Boys are the same called uh, beach boys, sex boys. Let me tell you, the men have abused the little girl sexually, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And as the women, mm, we have killed the boy. We have made the boy so weak and so angry. Because if somebody is so angry, they are weak. Yes, that's why I refuse anger. When somebody is so angry all the time, they are weak. That's why they feel like they need to take guns. Bang, bang. They need to shoot. The experiences they've seen. And when I look in America, you see what is happening? How can you even know that your girl is on Facebook, somebody is tormenting her? Some of you girls, your mama is so wicked you cannot open up. Let me say this. I see videos every day. I want to say this to all the black American women in America. And there are a little bit better black women there that could fight and stop this wretched nonsense that you all portray of black people. <laughs> Children fighting on the streets. Little girls fighting on the streets. Parents are the ones with the phones. Come on, get her. Get her. Get her. Mothers, African black women. American woman, African American woman. Lord, have mercy on her. Have mercy on no value woman. Woman with no value, with no color, no proverb, no glory. So cheap to the gutter. That your children are fighting. You are taking cameras to copy, make more, to make good video. How can she come and tell you that a man is threatening her to send naked pictures? Hmm. My sisters, I'm not going to stay long. My message this morning, everybody who is raising a girl or a boy, check the phone. Check the phone. And this one, American people, they have with it. It's something they're already dealing with and running away from. But you African women, I know you are going to say I use bad words. But let me just say this. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, with love and peace and harmony. African women, we are ignorant. We are selfish and dumb. Did you hear that? Ignorant, selfish, and dumb. Ignorant. Because even when we see a little child on Facebook, we open links, share clips, love it, like it, put comments. When that person is younger than you, you have a brain, you are spiritually inclined, yet you have the time to do ignorant things like that. Selfish, because even when a black mother knows that her sister's child is being touched or done anything, it's just better to keep quiet because it has almost become like incest has become okay. My African sisters who are so-called children of the Lord. And then damn, you have a phone, you don't even know how to go on Facebook. But that child knows how to go on Facebook. 
That child has her account. That child has been doing everything. Who is the stupid fool? Fool is not an insult. The Lord says he called us fools. Are we fools? Are we proverb mothers? Are we mothers raising children that are pleasing to God? Or have we broken our children's destinies and allowed social media to raise our babies? God have mercy on you. They are creating accounts. And you know why I said Facebook needs to go in Africa? Because they are fake accounts. With one phone number, six girls in a group can make a profile pic, a profile. How did Mark Zuckerberg allow one phone number in Africa of children? You see how they want to kill us in Africa. Here abroad, my phone number cannot be registered to more than three or four country, a, a four accounts. How come in Africa our girls? And every for me, I'm taking this in my home. One second, let me pick up Papa Rokafela is calling me. Wait, let me call my mom. Hello. Wait on. Sorry, sorry, I had to pick phone call from Papa Rokafel. I couldn't call on the house phone. So, as I was saying, in Africa, Facebook, people in Africa have to worry Facebook, not because we, want, we don't want Facebook, but because Facebook has no regulation and boundaries for us in Africa. Here abroad, one phone number is for one person. I'm finding out accounts of people with the same phone number. Children are using phone number, I'm telling you. And let me tell you, when you, they come here on Facebook, the devil starts to make them rebel against you. They will not respect you. They will iterate against you. They will rebel. You think they are only doing that because they want. No. The spirit that is using them, it a change. When somebody is carrying a demon and a spirit of Delilah and Jezebel, you expect them to be okay. So for me, Ada, my message this morning is for you women, and really the Lord is talking to women. Women, the little girls we are raising, they will be the next sister, Ada, Sister Mary, Sister Sharon, Sister Maureen, Sister Lynette. What type of women are they going to be? And spiritually, worry about what is happening in the realm of the spirit when children are having sexual encounter and inferior spirits of iniquities and a, 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 a spirit of sex, this evil iniquity spirits. Look, in Africa, we are perishing because we do not want to follow the truth. We just want to follow everything. News flash. Everybody you see abroad here and everybody you see with the following, that's their job. They are collecting your brain, taking you to Satanism, but it's also making the money for them. They are bread. You are hungry. They have mansions and houses. You are homeless. You do not even have a house. You are living in rental. Yet, they are getting your baby and sacrificing it to spiritual inferiority spirits. Spirits of a, a necrominers. Enchanting and sorcery. Didn't you know that? So everything in, this, in the flesh, we know it's very well. Mm -hmm. But we never take the spirit so serious. My sisters, wake up. My brothers, wake up. But you, mothers, you and me who have been given the responsibility to murder a child. It's you who pushed for that child. Nine months labored for that child. And some of you even came premature. 
the suffer that you suffer, the things you went through, today you forgot. Your friends are out here crying to the God of Abraham. Make una give me child. Some at the age of Sarah, they are still saying, when my Sarah time go come. You don't see a problem. Some of you and me, the Lord has given us grace. Give us daughters. Go and raise them into Esther's, Sarah's, Martha's, beautiful Mary, beautiful women. With standards and qualities of the Lord. With values, morals. No. Our little girls are like Jesus, when you see them, especially when they are doing their tiki talk and other things, they are, they are chewing their gum like, like a shower from the hall of hell. Let me just block somebody. They are busy sending hell face. Let's remove them so they don't die from, you know, if I'm preaching the word of God and it's making somebody feel like Satan needs to come in, don't worry, I will block you so you, never, you don't have to feel the fire. Oh yeah, you don't have to be quenched by the Holy Ghost. If you don't want quenching, it's okay. The Holy Ghost don't force you. You they come up on He who wants. Mm -hmm. Let me just block mm -hmm. him before I continue. It's very important. That's why Satan is angry. I know it can only be the devil. That women have lost their sympathy and heart and soul. That they don't see what the devil is doing to their daughters here. Their own children. It can't be humanity. That's why there can be a thousand people. 300 will be humans. 800 will be demons. My sisters, even me, I have to raise my sons better. Because they are coming in a society with daughters like yours. These daughters, the devil is using them. They are so orchestrated. Liars. Manipulative. It's not their fault. It's the spirit that has found them, that has entered them. And because you just think it's Facebook, right? How come they are so addicted to it every day? How come? Let's finish. Wait. How come? How come? In Jesus' name, I want to know my sisters. Make me understand. How come? Tell me about it. How come and how possible is it? Sister Francis Ungwa. Ah, ma, you can even see your face. Let me not, let me not concentrate on you, ma. We surrender you to the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit of God locate you. That's, sister Ada is learning. I don't want to talk anything. My father has told me that I am going to speak better. Sister Sarah Ruiz. Bye-bye. So my sisters, the truth will set you free to all the mothers who have daughters and sons. They do have Facebooks. And let me tell you what they are doing on their Facebook here. The way these days it is so common to pause for your ass and when there's a gap in between your nyash, God of Elijah arise. But even little girls, in my stomach is crying for food. Even little girls. Am I lying, sisters? And you think those Arabian man and Muslim man are just passing by? And I have to call it out the way it is. The way I called black people for being ignorant and selfish. Arabian man, Arabic women and Arabian people. You need to summon the Holy Spirit for your nation. That your people will not be used in the realm of the spirit for sexual inferiorities. And evil spirits. But to all of you, today you need to know the truth. She has Facebook account. And she's busting it like you. When I enjoy love making. She's also getting love making. Una come? Maybe. She come? Yes. So it's just going to be our girls of Africa who are going to become professional blowjob suckers. That when you see videos, do you know that in the pornographic world, it is known that only the black race 
Only when the white girls or the white boys do it with black people, they make extra money. The percentage go high. Do you know why your girls are being tempted? Because they are told they'll get a lot of money when they suck white man. My sisters, they are loving our girls, calling them professionals. You know, they say, ah, which one know how to suck well? Ah, the one from Thai and the one from Africa. They suck well. Oh, na suck. Our girls have become professional dick suckers. Let me speak as a woman of God. Penis. This is true. Our girls are now known as the best girls when you want to near in the mouth. Pupu. They pee on our girls. You, you are raising her in the house. But the white guy that she's dating, even in the country where you are living, whatever boyfriend, whatever girl, he's busy peeing on her. The reason why grown men like children, most sick demons and sick, filthy people, they know that on a little girl, they are able to perform every sexual fantasy and sickness. When it's on a grown woman, a grown woman will say, mm, don't put it in my bum. When it's with a little child, some of you, are, let me just call a spade a spade. Some of you are raising girls who've had penetration at the same time from the back and the front and you don't even know it. she lives in your home. She's ruined. It's not even a joke. She's ruined. Everything is butchered down there. They have devoured on it. And some of them can never hide their sexuality because some of them are the married woman like you. Your husband don't touch you. Those experiences ruin the inside of you. It's no longer tight anymore. Everything just come out. How many stories are those little girls, even now grown women, with private parts that are loose? Because somebody was giving it penetration without even... <laughs> You are released. Yes. <laughs> He's laughing, sister. You are released, though. Thank you. Sisters, let's talk the truth. God is truth. Some of you know your phone number, your life, your car keys. You shake them so much with pride. But what has happened to your own baby, you don't even know. And then when I see women sending laughing emojis, when I see women sending devil emojis, I ask the same living God. Where are the mother keepers, the mothers of all nations, that we are supposed to love your friend's children as you love yourself, just like love your neighbor as you love yourself? Oh, you people are the same women, but you just don't give a damn. And that's why people with sons, they've become selfish. Ah, I'll go raise my son. And that's why some of you, you are friends with your friends. But you know that your friends would never approve their son to date that your daughter. Because your son thinks, your, your, your friend thinks your daughter is loose. Am I lying? Your friends think your daughter is loose. But instead of telling you the truth and helping you, they are just gossiping about you because of your daughter. So when your daughter comes around her son, they even make sure that her son never has a word with your daughter. Because they call your daughter loose. But women, you are going to sleep like that. Every mother needs to know that. There are sick demons out here. There are people with demons and ways. That our children is what they pry on. Because the video I saw was a five, six-year-old Nigerian little girl. And I said it. She was watching Mickey Mouse all of Shema and Shine. She was mm -hmm. watching Peppa Pig. There is pornography. 
for Peppa Pig. For those of you with toddlers like our host, there is pornography for Peppa Pig. There is pornography for Mickey Mouse. There's pornography. There's even Cardi B songs in these songs. If you want to find out about cartoons, go on YouTube. On YouTube, especially in Africa, your daughters are watching a cartoon of Cardi B. I got a ready bottom. Wapote, 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 wapote. I don't know that song. Wapote, wapote. When you see the songs that Cardi B sings, what type of women generation are your daughters? This is, uh, this is, mm, this is, uh, nah, 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 nah. this is, uh, this is, uh, your daughter is doing this on tick tick. The challenges that are coming out, it's not even the grown women doing. Put your hands on my shoulder. They are undressing. Let's just do the truth. They are shaking it. Challenges that are here online, they are dangerous. God of Abraham. Challenges here online, they are dangerous. Beyonce and Cardi B can choose to sell their souls to the devil and be naked for the whole world. But do you want that for your daughter? Do you want that for your daughter? Hell no. Don't ever bring no rubbish. If apostle, pastor, engineer, go bring a Beyonce and a Jay-Z, a, 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 a Cardi B for marriage here. These naked girls who have sold their souls and just portraying the, the, the image of a woman to be naked. God forbid, if I have to be naked to show my worth, I'm going to pass, I will show my nakedness to the bathroom and the toilet, see my bum, my everything, every time when I sit to do my business. Hello, in Jesus' name. If my sons bring such woman, you better believe I'm going for 40, 40 days, 40 nights. 40, I say, Father, please, oh, who did I offend when I go send? No, 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 Holy Ghost, fire. They can keep their money, they can keep their sexiness, they can keep, uh, uh. There, go left in Jesus' name, I rebuke you. Go left. But this is the aspiration. Your daughter aspires to be like Cardi B. How? Cardi B, I respect you as a singer and everything. But aspiring to be a woman like you. I would rather be Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj might be naked, but even her mouth and how she carry herself might be better. You see the way other women carry themselves here? You are admiring the characters and ways of soul left from God. That's why now the people of the world and the people of the church, they are sharing the same stage. And those people of the world, like Kanye West, when they finish doing ra 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 ra, they go behind the pulpit, holy, so me sister Ada. I should come here. Me wine up for Jesus. Hey, and they wine out for Jesus. And then tomorrow, I go come like Cora, the, 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 the Nigerian one in um, abroad here. I go do like Cora. Hey, take it, take it. I go do like Cora with short with nakedness. God forbid there is a place in hell for women that are going to live like Jezebel and serpents. If you want to live like, like prostitutes, leave it on your own. But choose something better for your children. Tomorrow I will come here. I will come tomorrow eh? with my bum short. Should I go and wear my bum short? Should I go and wear my bum short and come back again here and demonstrate? I will be sister Ada Korabi. Mm. You can only choose one master. Your daughters are aspiring to be women like you. And let me tell you, you can call me this woman what to what. I know in the kingdom of heaven, there will never be a stripper or the best rapper and pusher of this age that will please him because of what they are doing of wickedness here. So your soul for what? For what? The girls in Africa, they are watching people in America they have never met. They are so in love with the lifestyle. See our future, God die, Lord. You're so in love with what you see on Facebook. You can never even see your own life. Dress up. And I don't mean jealous. Thank God she's raising a daughter. You think me I'll be on Facebook, whether I have Jesus or not. 
to sell myself Lord the way some of you African women are selling yourself out here. And which man? The men of this generation. That's why my children have to be a better generation, Lord. The men of this generation, it don't matter black and white. When they see the backside from here on the ground, uh, she be coming in. Pa! You are somebody's wife. God blessed you with marriage. Your friends are crying with marriage. For marriage, you are behaving like a cheap whore here on Facebook. Making your country, Nigeria, look like they do not have quality and morals. Get out, there is a way that cement right to man. We need to do better. Look at the girls in Africa. I'm ashamed the way we want to leave Africa to be manipulated. This has nothing to do with, oh, God does not judge. The same God does not want that behavior. He sent me to come and tell you. Facebook is for the devil. Do you see how many of those of you people who follow Korah? How many of you really love her from the bottom of your heart? The way you love sister Adan, the way you love sister Wanita, the way you love Tasha Kob. And how many of you know that your friend is heading for destruction and hell? No. The devil has used you, fellow women. When one of us is doing something right, we bring each other down. When one of us is doing something wrong, we employ one another. How can you behave like that on social media? How? What disappoints me is when I see Kadi B. Kadi B, my sister, this is for you. Let me, I don't care I call names out. If you do not like it, report me. The Lord has sent you. Hello. Kadi B, my sister, I have no problem with you. But Kadi, you, you didn't want your daughter culture to hear wapiti, wapiti, wapiti. But Kadi, you have no mercy for us. You do not care. Us, we have to leave our children to hear that. You, you protect your child. When the song, how many people saw that video? Did you see what the standards of Kadi B are? Actually, some have sold their souls for the image so they can do anything they want. But inside their homes, they live different. Just like the pastors who are telling people, not to take vaccine, but behind the backs of the people. They have already taken the vaccine. <laughs> Let me do a holy walk and they come back. Hello. I came to collect the Holy Ghost. I bring it here. Wapiti. Wapata. Me, I want to ask a woman to woman. Because what I do here, I'm comfortable that even when they're around me, it's okay. Even when I'm preaching. But you, we saw you in the video. When your daughter came in the video, you didn't want your daughter. But other mothers here, Kadi, because of your music. And you will face a responsibility as a singer. Sierra, Beyonce, Mampi, me, everybody who has been given a talent and you have sold it out here. If you are going to hell, hell will enjoy your talent. And the devil will give you following. And the reason why I know that you people don't really like Cora because you sit down and still talk and say, my daughter would... How many of you would want your daughter to be like Cora? None of you. You love Cora so much, but you would never allow Cora to be your daughter-in-law. That's why, Cora, I'm telling you this not because I hate you. My sister... The people's daughters out here who are doing huh? all the time like snake. All the time like snake. Lord have mercy on me. All the time like snake. And no clothes. And your daughters are just watching initiated to things that they don't even know about. Before she know it, put your hands off my show. But did you see the challenges? Where are African people? News flashy. African people. African people, your daughters have been doing challenges here. There was that challenge where you show off naked in the dark. Some it went wrong. The light came out. The whole nakedness. The Lord showed me I never come and preach on anything that I'm not supposed to. He gives me the experience, the emotion, and the feeling, and then the Holy Spirit come to talk. 
I'm sorry, sisters. I would rather all of you hate me. But my sister, if you ever come across this message, you don't have to sell your soul to the devil for following the millions where people watch me here on earth. Yet I will go and perish in hell and never see the Lord. What was the use? To have everything, to get everything of this evil world and miss the kingdom of heaven? Go for it. Go for it. And that's why I say, when I say selfish, African woman, you are selfish. Look at how you have made your friend feel like what she do. When people are doing rubbish here, what African people do is set each other for failure. When one of us show up naked, una wapiti, wapiti, wapapapapa, wapapa. That's why African people think they need to do wapapapa, wapapa, wapapa, wapa, wapiti, titi. They think they need to do wapiti to get support. And that's why the little girls are on Facebook. They don't want boys who are walking anymore. They are dealing with men. Oh, they don't deal with boys. They save just as big, as old, as you sis, both of you are women. Una wapititi. She even wapatata. Una wapititi. She de wapatata sister. And she lives a life. And this one is not just for black girls. Let me mention the Muslim girls. Muslim girls with hijab is happening to all cultures. <laughs> Muslim girls go to school fully clothed. I have gone to school with them. I go talk from experience. They go to school like this. When we go on break, they are the ones smoking. I used to smoke and I'm a grown person. But I went to learn the language. You know, they put you in don't mind your own language class where you are old. When you introduce yourself on a close the age of the group. I was the age group to shut. You understand? Excuse me. They go like this. And at break, would meet behind. Everybody would have this out. Everybody had a nice shot inside, which is very attractive for the time. And we would even go in the city. Because Ada was like a student, you know. When I never go courage. It was the first time to experience courage in my life from Africa. So I was enjoying my life, living my life at my old age, living like I'm young. I went. And I saw it in my own eye. And let me tell you, these girls have mothers. Just like your girl. Eh? So my sisters, my sisters, wake up. Wake up, oh! You people think you are smarter. Your children are smarter. You think you you think you are wapeting? They are wapapataring. Wapata, wapata, webebe. They are doing it. Open your eye. Every ignorant mother who has sold their soul and their life to look in Facebook like a fool. God will punish you. Because that time you were on Facebook. You were supposed to give her morals, standards. You were supposed to tell her she's a woman and nobody is supposed to take advantage. She's worthy and more precious than Ruby. No. No. The reason why I know Facebook cannot get along with me. The things I do here, they are not interesting enough. But when I see the pages who do rubbish things, especially naked things, they are watching. And they speak of funerals. Your children are watching funerals of dead people they don't know on Facebook here. Because Facebook has become a funeral home too. Who invited them to that film? The dead and the living don't mix together. There are videos of spirits being summoned, dead spirits being woken up from the pit of hell. Your children. Is your child do watching? Oh yeah, call me mad now. Call me mad again. Apostle, you're twerking. You can twerk for the Lord. There's no problem. Oh yeah. That's the only time you're allowed to twerk for the Lord. Hello. Hey, I love this man. Oh, Jesus, give me grace to raise my men. They will work. He go try to bring one wapati wapata here. 40 days, 40 nights. 
Halo. Which generation does funerals like that? When I go to a funeral, I mourn somebody I know. How you go to funerals of people you don't know? But everything I see on Facebook here, children are in the comments when the body viewing is happening. What? <laughs> Do you see what? Are you so sleepy and dumb to the devices and the tricks and the tactics of the enemy? Micro minor spirit. Necromina spirit from the pit of hell. Jesus can tell you that. Sorcery. Enchanting. Where do you think sorcery and enchanting is happening to? Possession of demons. How do you think are being people manifested with demons? You think demons are just walking out here on the boom. No. Some of you are getting demons right then and there. You just open the thing. Pa, the demon go enter you. Rapper, and they say it's a lie. Close your eye to the flesh and open your eye to the spirit. There is better things in the spirit than the flesh. Hello, sisters. For me, I pray. I pray that you will take time. Women of God, you should be on your sister's page encouraging her. There is a way that seemeth right to man. How do you think that for me, me, I would be happy to have a daughter-in-law with a past that she used to knock them the whole day. And the thing that your children are putting out here online, they never go away. It starts with dancing for a woman to be comfortable to dance half naked. It started from somewhere. It starts with taking your stockings off. Nakedness is small. You start small. The pants don't go start off. You start so. The first thing that come out. Let me show you. Let's be real. You start so. Before you know it is so. Before you know it, your breasts are out. Did these girls just come from the, the pit of hell? Brrr, I am naked. Boom. No, they started small. It started wapiti wapata small. Wapiti wapata. The devil tries the water. He tastes the water and he knows how to get and to go deep. But he has to lead his victims very slow because the serpent is very orchestrated. So let me tell you one thing. What you do today might not be a difference to you, might not mean nothing. But you never know where your future go. That's why the Lord says, a man who uses wisdom, it will, she will help. He says, wisdom will help you. She will help you. She will raise you. She will teach you. You can't have wisdom and have a, a life of being naked. Even strippers, they lie. They live double life. They're afraid to tell normal people that they're strippers. Because that job is in, it's not a job. They call it now a, a, a exotic dancing. See our girls, they say, I want to be a dancer. When you see them dance, like snake. And people are paying money for that. That's why Father Hell is so many people who are going to see hell than people who see heaven. How? Tell me the truth. How can people be making money? Millions and millions of followers. What do you do? So your nakedness and your lifestyle of incest of evil necromina spirit, Jezebel spirit from the pit of hell that is shaking and moving like a snake that is initiating other people who actually don't even know what they are watching and getting their souls. You think that's fun? No, your own punishment is coming. Everybody that was saving a pot, the Lord will have to look into your pot. Your life is like a pot. That's why I tell people, look at your life is like a pot of, of meat. Check in your, your, your pot. If there's any meat or bone, that you think is not supposed to be in the meat. Remove it first though. Because no man eats meat with a bone. You have to separate the bone. Because no man can chew bone. It's a lie. My sisters. How is it possible? All your daughters. Are following Kim Kardashian. 
not for business idea, for the body image. And I see African girls. Since when in Africa, my sisters, did we start wearing crop tops up to here? Celebrities, you are walking butt naked like thoughts from the pit of hell. Necromana spirit, Father, help me if I'm lying. Isn't that the Necromana spirit? And it's happening on Facebook here. That's why I think people are liars. Part time following people of God. Part time following Nicki Minaj. Me, I had to start on following and living things that I used to take part in. You know why? Because the spirit and the dominion and who I'm saving now, God does not, would not let me watch Korah. I used to watch Korah. And I used to love her. I thought, oh, she's loud and she's free. Since I met Jesus, Jesus blocked me, rem make me unfollow. So this rubbish. Stop it. And when I look now, it's always women. Ah. She's always doing that. Let her do it if she wants to do it alone. But your daughter need to watch out. Because there are things that we are opening in the realm of the spirit that are not supposed to be opened. And you can call me all you want. And the devil will hate me for this message today. But my father has cleared. Because this month, he told me is a straight way. We are walking in righteousness and in victory. I go deliver a message. Nobody will disturb me. He promised me. He the silent mute in the camp of the enemy. Go and look. May God help us. May God locate our children. May God release our children from the pit of hell. May God reveal and open our eyes, especially us women, to see what the, do the, the devil is doing to our daughters and sons. Because look around you. Social media. How are they making money? Social media. How are they losing their lives? Social media. How are they being cyberbullied? Social media. That's why for me, I want my children to be on social media when they want. Because even the sweet ones that do not get into fights or anything, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If your daughter is so sweet and soft, she can't be on social media. Peer pressure changes people. I am somebody who came from Africa. I used to be like this. The moment I meet my sisters here, they were all dressing up. I was fat, oh, with extra fat of baby fat. You know when they say that's one when you just from, come from the from the giving bed. I was fat, but I wanted to fit in, so I was wearing heel, looking like an elephant. Peer pressure. Peer pressure with girls. It's so bad. Boys is different. Boys do what they choose and want to do, and they understand very well what they are going in. Girls, they want to fit in because a woman wants to feel love. Girls will do anything. That's why it's not the boys they are pooping in the mouth. It's the girls. That's why it's not the boys who are strippers. It's the girls look at you, open your eye, and you and me are women. It's the girl. It's the girl. Hello. Who is a girl? A woman. Who is a woman? A girl. Women of the Lord, I challenge you people to start preaching the word of God and speaking the truth. Women of the Lord, I challenge you to sit down today with your, with your children. Speak to your children. Speak the truth. Because some of you, you are laughing today. Your friend, she's been crying 15 years. Social media took her, her child. She didn't know. Who are they peeing on? Girls. And African girls. Una not no. Una not a. Hello. Una not no not no sense. I have been given a responsible as a mom to raise those boys. And my in the name of Jesus. God, give me the wisdom to raise these children that are not going to come out here, manipulate and hurt people. I am praying they will respect women and value women like the way the Lord says. And I do not hate any woman, even you, Cora. I will keep praying for you. But the women you have that following, if you would have taken scripture and sin for Jesus or do anything for God without being naked, that your following will be three, five million times. But do we have to be naked like that? 
She's our African sister. Do you even understand what it means for all the African people abroad here when they see her? Because when a Zambian mess up, the whole Zambia mess up. You want to refuse? It's the truth. It's the truth. It was, is it all the Nigerians who are 4199? No, because they are intelligent, great Nigerians, capable of greatness. Their story cannot even be heard. When a Nigerian arrives abroad here, there's one Nigerian boy who went to cry who said, sisters, let's behave well. That's why I cry for my Zambians too. There's one Nigerian boy who said, when you arrive at the airports of Europe, Germany, these other countries here, people sleep at the hotel if it's their first time coming in the country, investigated because they have a Nigerian passport. It's not all Nigerians who are thieves. Yet, isn't it that all Nigerians are treated like they are thieves? I speak the truth not to please nobody. I speak on behalf of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the King. So how many women think Nigerian women behave like that? But I also know that the people who love Korah, they don't come from Nigeria because real Nigerians, they pray for her and they'll speak the truth. You fake haters who want her to go to hell. That's why you say me, I love Korah. She's so real. Ah, there is a way between real and right. There is a way that cement right to man. Just because I can say shut up does not mean I have to say shut up. The devil has given me God has given me Facebook to preach the word of God. The devil keeps coming with advertising money. I don't take this money. I don't take this money. If I'm wicked, wouldn't I have taken that money? But to take that money to enjoy in this life and just to go and perish in, in hell? I don't hate her. I love her. And this is the love that women will never know. Because the love you know is killing that woman. And the day that she will go through something, that's when she will learn that the people on Facebook here are fake. But for me, I feel like it's wrong in the eye of the Lord. Because most of her followers is the daughter and the mama. The daughter and the mama. And that's why I said there is more. Than what meets the eye. Go and look spiritually. If you're a real woman of God and you're still watching her. Then we are saving two different kinds of God. For me, I pray for her. But the Holy Spirit rubs me wrong. It just, I can't watch it anymore. I can't. I can't. I used to watch. I used to watch. Respect to her love in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. I pray that all of you. Are going to cover your sister the right way don't cover your sister to send her to hell don't cover your sister to see her get perished because your sister is your daughter your daughter is your sister look at women look at our daughters the devil gives mantle of demons and spirits he sends the mantle of Jezebel. It infests one in a generation. And that one has got so much power to spread that demon and just infest it around. Your daughters are the next ones who are going to be doing For what? I know professional dancers, even the same woman with a co queen bee. She not know just dance on stage. When I dance in the kitchen, in your own house, you cannot even sit and enjoy time with your family. Every time you are with your family, with your child, your child has to be in a, in a place where they are experiencing such things. No, babe. It's none of my business. But you have a responsibility to raise that child better. You want to act like a thought, be a thought. But give your daughters a chance to be real women of God and proverb women that are going to be covered. Not walking out in the spirit naked. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. If I take a post with to the strip club with me today, am I going to get following? You are wicked. You are the devil's agent. Anybody who follows what is of darkness, they promoted it. They helped somebody to get perished. If people would tell us the truth, none of us would have pages and following that would mislead the younger babies. 
But let me tell you one thing. You grown people, you cannot even go to school, get job. You start pages with your idiotic manners and then with the devil infesting you, you start collecting money. But the people who are following you are not even grown people. Children, may the Lord locate everybody that is initiating a child. From here, Dad, I'll see you. Mothers, African mothers wake up. African women wake up. Wait, I thought I hit somebody. No, he's supposed to be here, the man. He's going to measure my kitchen. I'm putting in a new kitchen, so I have to measure it. My mama-in-law buy me kitchen. Ha! When God make you go to with your mama-in-law, we can testify. My mama-in-law buy me whole brand new kitchen. Whole brand new kitchen. Girl, <laughs> my mother-in-law. Papa Rafaela, mama buy me whole new kitchen. Hello, let me testify. We don't like to hear those things. We like to. My sisters. Start covering each other. Start walking in truth. Start loving somebody. And choose and ask yourself today, if God would come today, have I been a promoter of the gospel most or have been a promoter of sin and evil? Am I the reason why people perished? Because they believed in what I was doing and they were watching what I was, I was sharing on or selling? All these celebrities in America, Africa, it's a shame that your followers, your general income is not on us, grown people. Just like the pornography industry, your general income is no longer us people, grown people. It's kids. Kids. And that's why now we have organizations that are supporting people with sick theories that they have a problem, they like children. Here abroad, they even have pardon. They call it group to help people who are suffering. Those people are suffering. When they watch you, grown African women, una know how to dolo. Take it. Take it at the When they see children, they don't see African children like the way they should see them. They just sing you the mother. Take it. Take it. And some, they finish doing the job and they sell their child. Like in the Philippines. In Thailand, where people have been investigated, I watch it every day. I'm not speaking from anything. There are so many things I've seen. Where mothers are selling their own daughters. Do you know how many old men, black, white, Chinese, Asian, from the whole world, who go to certain countries because those countries are very easy when it comes to doing naka naka on babies. Have you ever heard of the, they call it the black, the black internet, the black hole, where people even buy organs and everything. Where are you? If somebody see your daughter and they like her facial es 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 expression, they like her features and they are so rich. These evil people will order your daughter and somebody is ready to kill your daughter and get those organs and give them. People have died like that. You think it's a game? You think it's a Nigeria movie? Are you okay? Yes, uh, sister Muye, you can download. You can post on Facebook everywhere except on YouTube. I don't want people to make money on me and not on the things of the Lord. You can post here. I don't make any money. So you can post. No problem. You're welcome, sis. You're welcome, sister. Shalom. Sisters, I will end here. We continue tomorrow. This is the week for women. Every mother today, your job, is to check what that little girl is doing on Facebook. And in the first place, if she has an account without you knowing, what was you doing? And little girls, I've been a little girl before. Young women, I have been a young woman before too. I've been in prayer pressure to do things that I was not proud to do. I've been taught to change my image, my color, my everything because of the friends I had around me. But let me tell you all the things and all those friends who are telling me to do this and that. They don't even have half of the life I have. I have peace. I have abundant life through Jesus. I am free. I am loved. I have children. I have a husband. I have everything. The things that I need that are important and priority, God has already given me. No man can take that away from me. And I don't even have to fight again. 
your time will come where you have your own money. You don't have to get money from men. You don't have to get money from whoever wants to give you money, but they want to abuse you. You don't have to sell your lifestyle to fit in with those your friends at school. This generation, your friends who are wearing expensive clothes, it's not their dad buying them. That's why some of them, they look rich, but when there's a funeral at their place, then you find out where they really come from and what really their family status is. But do you know why they dress so expensive? They look around, they try to do this and that. It's because they want to fit in. Don't fit in. Stand out and stand for God. To all the young women, don't fit in. Stand out and stand up for God and stand in God. Don't be envy. Don't wish the grass was greener than on the other side. Your life is perfect. Whatever God has allowed in your life is going to go according to his will and his purpose. And your time will come. You'll be a grown woman who is going to enjoy everything. Wait for the right time. And don't be manipulated. So from me, I'll see you people tomorrow. We continue dealing with women topic. And I hear what the Holy Spirit tells you. We see each other tonight. We are praying against this spirit in children. And what the devil is using it for cyber, for social media, which is cyber, whatever rubbish. We are going to meet tonight, 20, 21 o'clock Dutch time. We are praying for a whole hour. We pray for all of the things we talked about. And we are standing on scripture. I give the scriptures there. I just came to give a brief teaching in the morning. May God bless all of you. And please, let's think about it. I'm not trying to bring anybody down or finish any other one. Let's help one another as women. If men will not take care of us, the Lord says, if we carry ourselves like proverb ruby women, he will do the rest. From me, Ada, shalom, God bless you and your family.